Today I'm talking about an incredible project and what the difference is between a normal NFT project and this, okay, the mainstream compared to this incredible, incredible project. Now before I do that, please note this disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, I do this for education purposes only, so let's get straight in. So guys, we're talking about DAO4.art. If you haven't heard of this already, I don't know what kind of niche you're looking at right now because it is incredible, okay? They are computable and incentive compatible block structure, automatic NFT contract deployment, revenue generating DAO token. Guys, I'm gonna talk more into this as well. This is the overview of the website. You've got explore collections, ranking, create more, and you're logging in your wallet up at the above, okay? All the questions that you need to ask will be in here if they're not from this video. Okay, what is the DAO? If you don't know what it is, it's a decentralized autonomous organization, aka DAO. All right, you have all different views in here and different roles. I'm going to talk about that now. Now, what's the difference with this project, guys, rather than other projects on the NFT space? Okay, first of all, NFT artists. All right, the NFT artists that make all the NFTs in a normal project are completely singled out. They're not really known. They're not really respected enough. Other than the NFT, you could happily go and buy an NFT without knowing who the artist is, right? Whereas on here, okay, they have direct access with the NFT, with the sculpting of what's happening within the NFTs. Have up to 100% direct commission, minus obviously the platform fees for the NFTs as well, okay? So whoever it is that designed this NFT in particular will have 100% access to that. They have up to 100% of reputation gains and more importantly, 100% freedom of creation. So if you go into their user guide, you can actually see a lot more on here, okay? And start to dive into this. Now, for an NFT project, the majority of NFT projects are run from FOMO. They're run from complete and utter marketing stances. It's an all at once snapshot of community network and minting. They have complete conflicting interest with community driven projects whereas out on this project okay by the way this page right now is ranking the different ones you can see it's incredible all right the difference here is we provide a long enough time for the minting process to give price discovery as well as creating content it's decoupled with unmatching missions and natural compatible incentives for the communities now back to the dogs guys you can see with the collectors now the difference in what you're seeing with other projects and the collectors here is in other projects they're actually buying FOMO. They are not going here to the NFT collectors, right? To the NFT rankings and buying the artwork. They're not actually buying for the art. It's a complete worst risk to return structure in the normal narrative of NFTs. There's no access to content creation and no access to incentives for overall growth. Now, here on this project, as you can see, all right, we actually have an optimal risk return structure. You can get in direct touch with the content creators, okay? So clicking on any of these NFTs, you can actually get a direct contact to them. And you could get exposure to the collection on a further growth, guys. This is why we're, it's such a different league at DA4R to what we've seen before, right? Guys, there we have it. Thank you, thank you so much. Please do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and the bell if you want to be notified. And I'll see you next time.